Good morning, Pop Pops Bees. Uh, we're down to cutting handles finally. I've got a hundred boxes assembled. Got a lot of handles to cut. As I was assembling, I got bored, so I went ahead and cut some of the, the handles on the side while that's what I did during my break. <laughs> I, I worked during my break. It was just a change of pace. So the way when we demoed this jig when I built it we were using it the way the gentleman that posted the jig pattern told us to which was you went all the way over to the edge did a plunge cut and came down then went all the way over then you brought it out back down and went back in with so much going on yesterday I screwed up and I didn't do my plunge cut on one that I thought I had done I started up the ramp and started going down, and I found that I didn't bind the saw as bad. Plus, I didn't have to pick the box up two or three times. So, we're going to show you that. It's going to be loud, so I apologize. So, here we go. Cutting handles in hive bodies. So, I start on the ramp now. There's my handle. It's nice and smooth. Um, works real good for us like that. Now his his video, they're not they're using uh, box joints, so they're doing the boards individually. We're doing our hives put together because we're using rabbit joints, and it works fine for us. So maybe somebody can get some use out of that, and maybe try it a little bit different way. I think it makes it a whole lot easier on the saw. Hope that helps you out. Pop pops bees. Please subscribe, like, share, and y'all have a good day. Thank you.